making rabbits, rebates, whatever you're going to call them, in my opinion, one of the easiest ways to do it is on a table saw. I'm going to show you how I do it on a table saw. It's my preferred method. And for this, you don't need a dado stack or anything, just a table saw, regular blade, combination blade works fine. What is a rabbit? There might be some debate on how it's pronounced. The American English say rabbit, like the animal. The British English say rebate, like a rebate on a car, you know, getting money back. Either way you say it, they have the same purpose. It's a recessed groove cut into a machinable piece of material, usually wood. Probably most commonly seen on the back of a picture frame. That cut out that all your stuff sets in, that's rabbit. Your rabbit's going to depend on what you're using it for. For instance, if it's a picture frame, you've got to think about what all you're going to be putting in that picture frame. You've got glass, you've got your picture, you may have some decorative border around that, and you've got a backing. And then also, on, on the back, you're going to have to make sure you leave room for possibly little drivers, if you're using drivers, or are you just going to use the little swinging pieces to hold the artwork in place. So you've got to think about all that, and that's going to depend on how deep your rabbit is. All right, last video I asked for some small businesses that have made a big impact. I got zero. So I don't know if this is really working out or if anybody really wants to participate. I'm going to do it one more time. I don't have one for this video because nobody gave me one. But if you tell me of a business, give me their name, location, and what they've done, I'll feature them in the next video. If I don't get any more, then I got the hint, guys. I won't do it anymore. I was just trying to help some small businesses if I could. I really try to support local and small business any way I can. Hopefully I'll hear from you. So like I said, it depends on how much material or what you're putting in your rabbit, but I generally like a little visualization. So if you're going to do it half the width of the board, you can always buy one of these half markers. This will tell you half the width. And if, if you already know what it is, a lot of times what I'll do and this might be kind of an exaggeration, but I'll mark out what I want removed. So then I can set up my saw height and the fence on how far I'm going in and out. It, it's a visualization. It, it helps, helps me. So I kind of exaggerated this so you could see the black is what I want to remove. So saw height wise, I'm going to raise the saw, the height of that. Then I'm going to adjust my fence to the depth. So right there. So as you can see, now I'm going to lock in my saw. So now that's going to cut basically along this outer line. So now we made the flat cut. So to remove this piece, we need to move. I keep a sacrificial board when I'm doing this, so my blade's not too close. So now I'm gonna set the table saw height to make sure the blade is not gonna hit the top, just a little bit above that cutout, so you're not cutting into your good wood. And then I'm going to move this over where it's even with my rabbit cut, like that. And this can be a little wobbly. So what I generally do is I'll use a piece of wood next to it to put pressure against it so it's not wobbly and then something on top to kind of guide it through. Just gotta be careful. And I have a rabbit and a little square piece that was taken out, obviously minus the curve width, but that's it. Took out that 
portion just like I marked and now you have a rabbit. So rabbits are something you're always going to need in woodworking. I use them all the time. Picture frames, drawers, boxes, the bottoms of them to put the bottoms in and many other applications. Now a table saw is most convenient for me however there are other methods. You can use a router, you can use a dado stack. Dado stack does take away the step of flipping over the board and it could be a little more simple however you still got to remove the blade, set up the stack, and all that. I find this method pretty easy. So that's just me. Anyways, I hope the video helps somebody out there. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Make sure y'all are staying safe out there in the shop and having a lot of fun. I know. I know I'm having fun. <laughs> Anyways, I'll see y'all next time.